and one million next level is uh, Uganda's commitment to the achieving Agenda 2063 of the African Union and one million next level ensuring that Uganda empowers one million young people uh, with skills that will help be successful, get jobs and be innovative in the bid to make Africa a better continent. And this is one of the agendas, uh, the objectives of Agenda 2063 of the African Union. And I've been privileged today to be invited as one of the early innovators at uh, uh, today's African Youth uh, Day commemoration event at the Sheraton Hotel in Kampala, where the African Union Youth Commission Youth Program gathered over uh, hundreds of youth from across Uganda to come and showcase what the youth are doing as we commemorate uh, the Africa Youth Day. Good afternoon, Africa. My name is Francis Bizoza Gimana, the African traveling teacher. I am on a mission to drive to all African cities to teach, to teach about Africa and why we should love Africa. I travel to different countries and uh, in August this year, I completed driving to all East African capitals and every country I go to, I did try school, teach a lesson, and some of the topics I teach is citizenship, is currencies that we use in Africa, and is also topics like climate change and environmental conservation, and how we as teachers can bring uh, goals of the African Agenda 2063 into our classrooms and empower a generation that is informed about Africa. And uh, the end goal is to establish a platform called Teachers Empowerment Platform, where we shall have a network of teachers from the continent collaborating, working together, sharing ideas and delivering lessons about Africa in their classrooms. So you can follow me on my YouTube channel, The African Traveling Teacher, to follow the journey that I do in the countries that I travel to. Thank you so much. So I got an opportunity to work in South Sudan uh, with the African leadership. Uh, for education under the African Leadership Academy to train teachers for a year. While I was there, I received an email uh, from um, Western Academy of Beijing asking me to do a presentation to their grade nine children about uh, development and infrastructure initiatives in Africa. To me as a teacher and as a teacher trainer, it affected me so much to realize that I don't know about Africa. 
So when my contact in South Sudan finished, I came back to Uganda and got an opportunity with uh, learning equality, an American organization that is behind the learning platform called Colibri that we used here in Uganda for offline learning during the COVID-19 pandemic. So I developed a curriculum that was to be accessed online and physically. After that work, I was like, you know, what I've put in the curriculum, I should practice because I tried to localize the curriculum and ensure that the content is Ugandan, is African. Greetings, uh, it is the African Traveling Teacher once again, uh, representing at the Africa Youth Day Commemoration at Sheraton Hotel. Uh, and uh, I have been privileged to meet a friend uh, who has liked part of the topics I teach when I travel because I teach Africans about the currencies, the African currencies. And he has decided to also add to this repository of African currencies with a currency from Mozambique. A currency from a currency from Mozambique. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm called the Alem Zaidi. Um, I, I'm a Ugandan. I work in executive assistant, the director of finance and administration at NRM Secretariat. And uh, I'm privileged to meet this gentleman who is having an amazing work. When I first looked at what he does, very, very interesting. We have moved to workshops and done a lot of workshops in this country, but I've not seen such things. People coming up with such creative and unique works to portray to the people, teaching us about currency. So when I came and I bumped into him, having all these currencies, I'm like, oh wow, I have a Mozambique currency in my wallet. Why don't I just donate to him this currency? People travel to countries, but they don't know. They end up being cheated, and when you find such a platform and someone is able to give information about the currency, you want to be new when you go to a new country. And this man is doing an amazing job. And uh, when you see him, please come to his table and listen to what he's going to tell you. I've been delighted to be at this uh, event and at this commemoration event of Africa Youth Day, whereby a lot of initiatives that the youth are doing across the country and across the continent have been showcased and shared. And I've been delighted to hear about uh, what the African Union has done so far about education and about empowering teachers by carrying out a research, a thorough research to establish uh, what could be the demotivators of teachers, how they can be motivated and how they can be facilitated to ensure that they provide quality education by looking at how much they are paid, uh, their livelihood, their standards of living, so this, uh, out of this report, a lot has been put together and a couple of uh, takeaway lessons are going to be implemented uh, by the African Union in partnership with its member state. Thank you so much once again for watching uh, the YouTube channel of the African Traveling Teacher. Please, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and uh, the notification bell to keep updated about African education, culture and uh, issues around uh, the continent. Thank you so much.